The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number five. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on March 25th, 1974, in Bombay, India. Translation. The Blessed Lord said, Many, many births both you and I have passed. I can remember all of them, but you cannot, with the doer of the enemy. Sri Bhagavan Ubhata. <coughs> we have already explained the meaning of Bhagavan in connection with the first verse. Still, again we are repeating Bhagavan. Bhagav means opulence. And when the Sanskrit affix is there, bhat putta, one who possesses opulence, he is called Bhagavan. So, it is described by Parasar Muni that Orishadyasa Samagrasa Vijasa Jasa Sasriya Jnana Vairagya Estraiva Sara Iti Bhavangana. Uh, Bhagavan means who possesses these six opulences in full, all riches, all strength, all influence, all wisdom, all beauty, all renunciation. <coughs> so, it has been analyzed how we possess all these opulences, and it has been found by the great sages that Krishna is the possessor of all opulences, all beauty, all wisdom. Ishara Parama Krishna, the supreme possessor is Krishna. Satchidananda Vigraha, Anadiradi Govinda, Sarvakarana Karma. So, Bhagavan is individual. We are also individual, part and parcel. Just like the father is individual, and the sons are also individual. We are all sons of God. Mamai Vamsa Jiva Bhuta. Jiva Loke. So, we are all individual. In the second chapter, Krishna says that uh, we all, you, me, and all the soldiers and the kings who have assembled here, they were existing before as individual, and you are existing now as individual, and in future also you shall exist as individual. <coughs> so that is being explained again. Bhuni me bhaktani janmani tapachad. As individual, uh, we are taking birth, uh, that Krishna's birth will be explained in the next part. Ajopi sannabhyatma. Ajo. Ajo means who does not take birth. We are also ajo. Na jan, uh, uh, what is that? Najayate na amriyate va kadachi. Na hannate hannamane sarire. Nitta sasate ang purana. That is the description of the living entities. A living entity as we are, we also do not take birth. We are eternal. Part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is eternal, we are also eternal. Krishna is individual, we are also individual. Uh, the difference is that he is Ishara Parama. He is the supreme control. And we are we are also controller, but limited. Very minute control. That is the difference. God is great and we are small particles. 
That is the difference. Therefore, Krishna said that I also take my bath, uh, and you also take your bath. But the difference is, tani aham I know how many times I took bath, but you, you also took many times, but you have forgot. That is the difference. Tani aham abhidha sarvani nattam abhidhya parantam. You cannot remember. Actually, we do not remember what I was in my last bath. I do not know. Death means forgetfulness. Death means to forget everything. Just like daytime and nighttime. Nighttime also, when we sleep, we forget all our business in daytime. We have got everyday experience. We are different person at night. We are dreaming something, dreamland, somewhere I have gone. Ah, and forget that I have got a body which is lying on the bed. I am the father of such and such sons. I am the uh, husband of such and such. No, you forget everything. And again, in the daytime, you forget everything what you dreamt. This is our practical experience. Similarly, we had our last bath, but we have forgotten. But Krishna does not forget. That is the difference between Krishna and the living entity. Uh, <coughs> I have explained already, we forget because we change body. Tatha dehantara prapti. Dehantara prapti, we do not know what kind of body I had in my last life or what kind of body I am going to accept next life. But there is the law. Tatha dehantara prapti. But Krishna does not forget. He knows. That is perfect knowledge. And because we are imperfect, uh, we do not. When we will be perfect also, we will remember. But that is means spiritual life. Uh, no more material body. That can be also possible. It is said in the Bhagavad Gita. Taktadi hang punarjan manaiti maameti kaunti. So when we go to Krishna, we get the similar body, although we are subordinate. Still, the facility is almost the same, seventy-eight percent. So, about Krishna, it is in the Brahma Sangita it is said, Adyam purana purusam Vedeshu durlava adur lava yasa bhakto govinda vādi purisam tamaham bhajāna. Addaita achyuta anādi ananta rūpam. Krishna can expand himself. Ananta rūpam. Ananta means unlimited. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Ishara sarvabhūtāna mṛdhyesi arjuna tishthat. Now, we are individual soul. Uh, so we are also associated with Krishna as Paramātmā, within the heart. Paramātmā is there. Sarvasya chāhaṁ ridhi sarnivishta. Where the Paramātmā is there, that is also stated. Ridhi, in the heart. Sarvasya chāhaṁ ridhi sarnivishta. There is no, I mean, mistake. Krishna says, I stay within the heart of everyone. They are sitting, two birds, that is stated in the Upanishad, sitting on one tree, this body is tree, and Paramatma and Jīvārpa, both of them are sitting on the same tree. The Jīvārpa is releasing the fruit of the tree, 
and Paramatma is only observer. <laughs> Paramatma is observer. Anumanta upadrashta. Upadrashta. Simply seeing our activities. Uh, Krishna is so kind, God is so kind, that He is living with me just to turn my face towards Him. He is so, just uh, looking up at the opportunity when this living entity, Mamai Vansa, Jiva Loka, Jiva Loka, Sanatana, Manasasthani Indriyani, Prakitisthani Karasati, He is struggling for existence in this material world with his concocted mind and senses. So Krishna is looking for the opportunity when the living entity will come back to him. Because we are a sons. So father, if the son is bewildered, gone out of the home and loitering in the street, the father is very anxious to get him back, although the son has forgot. This is the position. Therefore, as Paramatma, his guidance, ah, sarvasacāhum ridhi I am sitting in everyone's heart. Matta smiti jñāna From him we get the remembrance. I wanted to enjoy something. Krishna gives us full opportunity. Now here is the opportunity. You can do it. Anumanta, I is so kind. Uh, but that is not our actual business. Our actual business is to go back to home, back to Godhead. Not to enjoy in this material world. But still, because we want it, Krishna gives us all facilities. Matta smiti jnana If we want to enjoy this material world, Krishna will give us all the opportunities. You can become the topmost living entity like Lord Brahma, and you can become an insignificant ant according to your karma. Anumanta upodrishta. So this is going on. Therefore, see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Ei rupe brahmanna brahmite kono bhagavanji. In this way, we are wandering all over the universe uh, as some body, sometimes human being, sometimes demigod, sometimes cats, sometimes dog, sometimes tree, sometimes plant, sometimes insect, sometimes Brahma, sometimes ant, sometimes bee, anything. There are eight million four hundred thousand species of life. Uh, so, this is our circulation. Therefore Krishna says that tabhacarjana, as Paramatma, I am with you always, and you are changing so many bodies. Of course, Arjun did not change because he is devotee. He is accompanying Krishna always. Sakhāciti, bhaktusi sakhāciti. So he is friend. He takes his bath as human being whenever Krishna wants. Krishna has his associates. When he comes on this planet, in this universe, he comes with his associates. So the Pandavas, they are Krishna's eternal associates. Although associate is still, uh, Arjun forgets about his previous bath because he is human being. Whereas Krishna remembers. Ah. <coughs> so Krishna also takes bath. Very many incarnations. Rama di Muttishakala Niyamena Tishtan Nana Vatanamakarat Bhuvani Sukintu Krishna Sam Samabhavat Parama Pumanaju Govindamadi Purisam Tamahamaya. This is stated in the Brahma Sangit. Krishna is appearing in so many incarnations. Just uh, try to understand uh, what is the position of Krishna. Uh, 
He is situated as Paramatma in everyone's heart. Ishara Sarvabhuta Namridde Se Arjuna Tishthati. And is giving direction to everyone. And there are unlimited, innumerable living entities. So, he has to give instruction in different ways to so many living entities. How much busy he is. Just try to imagine. Uh, still, his position is the same. Go lokayeva nivasati akiradma bhuta. Go lokayeva nivasati. Krishna is still in his own original place, Goloka Vrindavan, and he is enjoying in the company of Srimati Radha. Uh, that which this is, a, it is not the Mahavadi philosophy, because he has uh, uh, expanded himself in so many hearts of the living entities, that does not mean that he is finished in his own abode. No, still he is there. That is Krishna. Purna sa purna madaya purna meva avasishyate. This is the basic information. Even the, here we have got material experience. If you have got one rupee, if you take one anna, then it is fifteen anna. Or if you take two anna, it is fourteen anna. If you take sixteen anna, it becomes zero. But Krishna is not like that. He can expand himself. Unlimited form. Still, the original Krishna is there. That is Krishna. Ah. We have got experience. One minus one equal to zero. But we are in the spiritual world. That is called absolute. One minus millions times one minus is still the original one is one. That is Krishna. Advaita, Achyuta, Anadi, Ananta Rupam. So that Krishna you cannot understand Vedeshu simply by studying Vedic literature. Although the Vedas means, Vedanta means to understand Krishna. Veda is the Sarvai Ahameva Veda. But unfortunately, because we do not take the shelter of Krishna or his devotee. We cannot understand what is the purpose of Vedas. That will be explained in the seventh chapter. Maya sapta mana pratha. Maya sapta mana pratha yoga mi janjana madasra. Madasra. Asam sam samakram maam jathagyasya si tatsino. If you want to understand Krishna, Asamsam, without any doubt, uh, and samagram, and in full, then you have to practice this yoga system. What is that? Yoga. Manmana bhava madhvakta madhyaji mangna maskri. Madasa. Yogam Yogam jujan madasa. Madasa, this word is very significant. Math means either you take directly, that is not very easy thing, uh, shelter of me, or one who has taken shelter of me, you take shelter of me. Uh, just like there is electric powerhouse, and there is a flag, that flag is connected with the electric powerhouse, and if you push your wear in the flag, you also get electricity. Similarly, as it is stated uh, in the beginning of this chapter, evam parampara pratam mimang sayovidu. If you take shelter of the parampara system, the same example, if you take the shelter of the plug which is connected with the powerhouse, you get immediately electricity. Similarly, if you take shelter of a person, who is coming in the parampara system. There is a parampara system. Uh, Krishna, he instructed Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma instructed Narada. Narada instructed Vyasdev. Vyasdev instructed Madhyakas. Madhyakas instructed in so many ways. 
దెన్ మాధవేంద్ర పూరి మాధవేంద్ర పూరి ఈశ్వర్ పూరి ఫ్రమ్ ఈశ్వర్ పూరి లార్డ్ చైతన్య ఇన్ దిస్ వై దేర్ ఇస్ ఎ పరంపర సిస్టమ్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ వైష్ణవ సంప్రదాయ రుద్ర సంప్రదాయ బ్రహ్మ సంప్రదాయ కుమార్ సంప్రదాయ అండ్ లక్ష్మీ సంప్రదాయ స్త్రీ సంప్రదాయ సో సంప్రదాయ విహీనాది మంత్రాస్తే విఫలామత ఈ విడ్ నాట్ రిసీవ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ ఫ్రమ్ ది సంప్రదాయ దెన్ విఫలామత దెన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యువర్ ల్యాండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్లెస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్లెస్ దట్ ఈస్ ది డిఫెక్ట్ సో మెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ స్టడింగ్ భగవద్ గీత బట్ దే డూ నాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ కృష్ణ బికాస్ దే డూ నాట్ రిసీవ్ through the evang parampara praptam the parampara uh, unless you go to the parampara the same example if you do not take electricity from the plug which is connected with the power house what is the use of your bulb and wire it is no use uh, therefore how krishna is expanding uh, it is bedeshu dullava if you simply have got academic knowledge then it will not be possible vedeshu oh. <coughs> dullavam adur lavam atma bhakto this is the statement of brahma samhita <coughs> adur lavam atma bhakto one who is krishna's devotee pure devotee anna vilasita sunnam gyana karma dana abritam anukullena krishna anusilanam bhakti ruttam pure devotee means he has no other desire no material desire anna vilasita sunnam zero uh, so what is that <coughs> anna vilasita sunnam gyana karma anabritam gyana and karma and bhakti bhakti is anna vilasita sunnam but gyana is obvious there is desire for liberation to become one with the supreme so that also should be given up gyana karma anabritam not by covered by the speculative process or fruitive activities gyana karma anukulena krishna anusilanam simply favorably cultivating krishna consciousness anukulena that is bhakti uttama that is first class bhakti and if it is mixed up on that is how it material desire or spiritual emancipation or fruitive activities then it is not pure devotee so if you can approach as pure devotee as it is stated in the brahma samhita adur lavam ato bhakto there is ato bhakto pure devotee he can deliver you krishna take krishna here is krishna Krishna Prema, that is the symbolic representation, is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he is described by Rupa Goswami. Namo Mahavadarnaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namini, Gauratthi Sri Nava. Uh, when Rupa Goswami, he was minister in the government of Navabhusensa at that time, very exalted personality he could understand chaitanya mahaprabhu's mission therefore when he first met him at alava prayag he offered his respect with these words namo mahavadana the most magnificent in kind why krishna prema pradayate you are distributing krishna prem it is very difficult to understand krishna but you are so kind that you are immediately delivering love of krishna uh, you can know one, one person but to uh, develop love for him that is another transaction so people cannot understand even krishna and what is the uh, saying of krishna's love but chaitanya mahaprabhu is so kind that he immediately giving krishna prem love of krishna therefore 
he is described as the most munificent incarnation. Krishna himself could not deliver himself. He wanted, first of all he surrendered, sarva dharma an paritvajya maamikam But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <coughs> is so kind, simply through this chanting and dancing, uh, he is distributing love of Krishna. Oh. You can see practically these boys from European and American countries, they are all over the world. Why they are chanting and dancing in this way? Do you think they have become mad? In one says, yes, they have become mad. Why? For love of Krishna. Now they have begun. Ah, they have become lover of Krishna. So Krishna praying is like that. That is through the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ah. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the symbolic representation of devotee. Bhakta avataram, bhaktyatham, namami bhakta saktikam. Ah. Namami bhakta saktikam. He can give the strength to the devotee so that he can develop his dormant love of Krishna. Ah. Therefore, in the Brahma Samhita it is stated, the adur lavam ato bhakto. If one is pure devotee, for him, uh, Krishna is available very easy. Uh, he says in the Bhagavad Gita, vakta avam avijanati, javan jashtami tattva. Uh, one can understand me. In truth, javan jashtami tattva, which is very, very difficult. Manushanam sahasya isu kaschit jaduti siddha. Jatatama visiddhanam kosid vetri mantat. To understand Krishna as He is, it is the bigger. Ah. But if you take to this process of devotion and service, sravanam kitanam vishnu smaranam pado sivanam, archanam bandanam dasam sakhamatanivya, either of these process, all the process are either of this, you become successful to develop your dormant Krishna consciousness, and then your life becomes successful. Thank you very much.